When I think about the first 19 people that started Eastview Christian Church and to see the small seed that they planted here and to see how God has worked it, worked in so many lives and how God has expanded Eastview Christian Church is amazing. I think they will be just blown away with God's faithfulness of his people and the obedience and the love. The real, the genuine love of Jesus is, is evidence at Eastview Christian Church and the, the 19 will be proud. In 1955, a small group of 19 people wanted to start a Bible-centered church that sought to share Christ with the community and their world. Over the years, their numbers grew and God called them to build a church building. So, on May the 22nd, 1960, our church, then called Emerson Street Church, opened its doors for the first time. In the fall of that year, this small but faithful group of men and women hired their first pastor, Galen Skinner. In 1962, the church would hire their second minister, Bob Phillips. From 1962 to 1975, the church would grow from 100 to 500. Along the way, the church would change its name from Emerson Street Church to Eastview Christian Church after the church moved locations due to the number of members outgrowing the Emerson Street building. Well, we began, we came to Eastview in December of 1969. We just moved back to the community and we liked the, uh, the values and the, and the teaching, the preaching going on at Eastview. And uh, we wanted to raise our kids in, in, a, uh, in that kind of environment. So we made this our church home. In 1975, Bob Phillips left Eastview to become president of Lincoln Christian College. In the next chapter of Eastview's life, God would call a strong leader and visionary, Pastor Gary York. As Gary faithfully served, the church would continue to grow, and in 1986, Eastview would build a new thousand-seat auditorium. However, less than 10 years later, the leadership at Eastview recognized that its facilities would not be able to meet the future needs of its growth, and so, the search for new land began. In 1995, country companies agreed to pay $4 million for Eastview's site at IAA Drive. This money would later be given to purchase land from Illinois Westland, which is the land our church rests on today. In 1999, Eastview opened its doors at this site for the first time and grew to 2,700 people. We've seen God work through His acts of faithfulness through a, a number of things. The one, one of the real highlights to me has been through our building program and, and uh, through our leadership style changes, staff changes and whatever. I, I know that a number of churches have experienced uh, different pastors and I've seen three senior pastors here and the and the uh, move from one to the other has been very smooth and I that doesn't happen in every church uh, setting so uh, you got to uh, I got to believe that is God's way of answering prayer the next big move for Eastview would involve ushering in a new era of leadership in 2001 the church's current youth pastor, Mike Baker, would become the associate pastor and be named the next senior pastor after Gary York retired. Together, Gary and Mike would lead the church through additional building expansions, including the balcony in the worship center, a new gym, and a new kids' view area. While growing internally, the church felt called to serve the community, so in 2006, Eastview launched the Imagine Campaign, which was a drive to provide toys, food, and coats for people in our community. In 2007, after 32 years of leadership at Eastview Christian Church, Gary York retired and Mike Baker became the next senior pastor. From 2007 to present, Eastview has grown from 3,400 people to almost 6,000. We're celebrating 60 years at Eastview Christian Church. It's amazing to see how God, how far God has brought us all. Um, I'm looking forward to the next 60 years of being more diversity. I'm looking forward to seeing more brothers and sisters of Christ from all nationality come to Eastview Christian Church and we all celebrate and be united as one. While the church has almost doubled in size, we have maintained the feel of a small town rather than a large church. Along the way, we have not forgotten our rich heritage of giving. So in 2010, we gave over $100,000 to Haiti during its devastating earthquake. 
$240,000 to our ministry partners in Kenya to rebuild a Christian school and orphanage destroyed by the government, and $466,000 to bless other ministries here in central Illinois and abroad, all to the glory of God. When I think about Eastview's future, I just think of all of the people in our community that have been unreached um, by Jesus' word. And I think that um, that's where our growth remains, is getting people to know Jesus and to call him friend.